Rated M for Mature. Here we, Here we go. What's going on, people? Fame and the Sam here from TICGN.com. Welcome to episode 34 of the Double XP podcast. Now, before I get to the introductions, uh, I want to give my condolences uh, um, to our other co host, Mama Sita. If you guys are following her on Twitter, you guys know she's going through some family issues. She, her father did pass away. So I do want to give my, do- my condolences to my right hand warm man our hearts go out to you and um prayers for you and your family stay up keep your head up you know if you need anything that your family is right here and we got you covered mm-hmm. now on to our introductions we got my light skinned it brother from somebody else's mother miss nicodemus x yeah what's good everybody it's nicodemus the king himself and yeah um shout out to mama sita uh prayers up for her and her family all that good stuff uh, before we get started, I do have a confession that I would like to make tonight. Um, I am the self-proclaimed king of indies of YouTube. No one else is doing it like me when it comes to indies. We all know this. Um, but I'm, I'm regretfully having to let everybody know that I haven't played an indie game in about two weeks. Um, Exposed. What? Exposed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, What's I a king to a god, sir? <laughs> I haven't played an indie game in two weeks. I'm, I'm ashamed to say it. But I wanted to be upfront with my people, with my loyal subjects, letting you guys know that I'm a little behind my indie gameplay. I've been playing Knack and Sonic. That's really all I've been playing the last two weeks. So I do apologize, but I will be back on this indie game. Don't worry, because I, I know no one else is doing it like me out here. Mm-hmm. All right. You have just yeah. embarrassed yourself, sir. So, uh, yeah, now I, I'm, I am now the god of indies since Nick <laughs> has... Uh, has uh, you know, let go of his people. <clears throat> you might be, you might be playing indies right now, fam. But you're still not doing it like me. It don't matter. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> Next up, Crunk Girl. What's happening? Yo, what's going on? What's happening, y'all? Uh, shouts out to the people in the chat. Shouts out to uh, Mama Cita as well. Um, yeah, that's a hard thing to lose a parent, man. And like I said, not, a lot of people who know me personally uh, check out my YouTube. Know my mom's sick too, so it's a lot going on when it comes to your parent. Actually, my mom just had a uh, uh, surgery on her heart, so it's crazy yeah. out here. But it's good to talk about some games and get that shit off your mind. You know what I'm saying? And I beat one of the shittiest games ever <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> just called three. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> on consoles. Yes. I Ooh, even worse. Damn. My <laughs> you know, I, I do I do want to give a special shout out to uh Demi's parents for allowing him to not do his homework <laughs> and be on this podcast right now. <laughs> we do got the Demi guy. What's going on, Demi? Thank you for uh Thank you. homework, brother. <laughs> Mr. 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 Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Demi. Mr. and Mrs. God, thank you. Thank you. You know what makes three? He kept egging me on. <laughs> Oh man, now I, I look like the bad guy here. First off, fuck it. Sorry, my condolences out to Mama Cita. Prayers up to her. I hope everything gets better on her end. Hi guys, Demi got reviews here. <laughs> the most tired man on YouTube, always working. Uh, I'm here to talk about some games. Here to play some games, and uh, I got some announcements to make later oh, on. Shit. Okay, exclusives. Exclusives. Last but not exclusives. least, to me, I, it's one of the most underrated dudes. On the tube Tell from the press, oh, I mean, press oh. start oh. podcast. <laughs> Jay Bain, what's happening, brother? Oh, I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay May back checking in with the double XP podcast. Glad to be here. I do want to give my thoughts and prayers to Mama Sita and her family. Definitely, it's tough to lose a parent. I couldn't even imagine what you're going through. So Definitely, uh, you know, thoughts, prayers, blessings. Um, we here with you, and uh, yeah, it's glad to be back, man. This is uh, this is one of my favorite podcasts. Every week I tune in, so you know, I'm excited to be here, and I'm ready to talk games. And uh, um, Nicodemus, I think you might want to change up. You said you haven't played indie games. I don't think you've played games, brother. You ain't gaming out here. Whoa! Mercy. You ain't gaming oh, out here. So <laughs> I'm legit playing Sonic right now, and you know this, fam. Why? Why uh, you trying to play it, brother? Just wow. I want to see the receipts. 
I'm no, I'm about to turn the music up. Fam, I'm sorry. Y'all about, 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 about to hit these. Y'all about to hit these rings. Nah, y'all about y'all about to hit these rings, fam. I'm playing Sonic right now. That's a YouTube video. We ain't we ain't believe it. <laughs> you need wow. more people. <laughs> Chill, G. Yes, exposed. No one have mercy. Hey, so before hey, everybody here. <laughs> Before we get to today's first time, let you guys know if you guys look in the description down below, you guys will see the link to our Patreon. One of the um tiers on our Patreon is the double XP after dark show. So make sure you guys check out the Patreon. It is one of the tick at night shows. You guys get a lot of stuff if you go into the tier that has the tick at night shows. And one of the shows is the double XP after dark show, along with the show from Kiss Move as well. You guys would not want to miss that. So we know what Nick playing. Nick is playing uh, Sonic. But Nick, what else are you playing, my brother? Uh, Sonic. And then I finally went ahead and played through Knack. I beat it because I want to get Knack 2 this weekend. So I went you beat ahead. It? You beat it without Mama Cedar? Yeah. I know. I felt so guilty, bro. I, <laughs> now, now, in this case, in this case, J Main, in this case, J Main, I legit was playing with myself. Because when it comes to oh. Nack, when it comes to Nack, when it comes to Nack, I'm used to playing with a partner. That'd be my girl Ma. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We tag team on that Nack hardcore button mashing that X button, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, uh -huh. I was playing. I was playing with myself uh, with Nack, and I did beat it. I beat. I legit beat it myself. Let me ask you. Oh, oh Lord. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> legit. Too like, too for real. Information. I beat the I hell out of that shit I myself. A few episodes. <laughs> like Nack is trash. Nack is this. Who said mm. this? You you just talking junk about me. <laughs> so uh how was Nack? It was good. It was good, Crump. It was I good. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I really did enjoy it. I really did enjoy it. I, mean, I really thought it was trash. I thought it was how many trash. Times did you that die? My first impressions. Huh? How many times did you die? You know what? After I got the uh, hang up and started taking it serious, I died less. At first, I was I wasn't taking it serious at all, and I kept I kept dying. I ain't gonna lie. But once I started getting into it and taking it serious and started playing like it was Dark Souls, oh yeah, I did great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mofos was talking shit about Nack, but dying. yeah, yeah. Mac, I'll, I'll, I'll see what made me want to play Nack was that you know that trailer and gameplay of Nack too. I was impressed by that. I was like, man, oh man, we was like Nack two looks good. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I need to play. I need I need to beat Nack one before I move on because that's kind of my gamer code. You know what I'm saying? I'll move to the sequel until I beat the first one. So I was like, mm. I need to beat it. Yeah. So, Crump, what are you playing right now? Uh, let's see. I beat, like I said before, I beat Just Cause 3. Oh, God. I don't know. Ugh. I don't know how. Yo, let me tell you how good it was. After I beat it, I deleted it all. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Straight to the recycle. That's, that's, a, that's like a Nick line. He beat it, then delete it. Yeah, that's, how, that's what <laughs> I do. I, you know, I beat that joint and, <laughs> and, 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 and I deleted it. Uh, I, I started Watch Dogs too. Started Watch Dogs too. Watch up, then deleted. Yeah, I've been on that too. Um, <laughs> I just started it though. Like I didn't really get too much into it. Um, also, I started. I beat uh, episode one of Life is Strange. Woo! Oh, I played Life, Life is Strange too. Season. Not the second season. First season. Ooh. First season. Yeah. I'm nice. here for this. So I beat Life is Strange. I got a feeling something bad gonna happen to Victoria because she seems just mm. too much of an ass. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I was nice to her, so hopefully, me being nice to her doesn't do anything bad. But um, mm. yeah, that's what I've been playing. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Watch Dogs uh, Two seems cool. I heard you said it was it was born. <laughs> no, I I I ran into like a, a little slow spot, but I I don't, I don't think the game was trash. I'm gonna put in some more time on it this weekend. Um, I think part of me is because I'm trying to rush through it to have to get to Final Fantasy 15, so it's all right right now. But uh, Final Fantasy 15. Oh, then I won't rush. I just chose to play Watch because I bought them up at the same time. No, I just wanted to do Watch Dogs first. Beat it just as fast if you talking about rushing. <laughs> you can, you don't have to be at a high ass level to beat that game if you don't want to. Demi God, what are your parents allowing you to play, sir? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm playing through Yakuza Kiwami. Mm, which is nice. a, f a very fun game. I finally beat that black hole game. Uh, very tough. I want my arms oh, back. Oh, that black hole, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend bought me Destiny too. I and, wanted uh, Destiny, but man, my bread ain't been right. So, I, but I heard it's a great game, though. It's it has some improvements, but it still feels like the same old Destiny. And I think that's what's bugging me as I play it. Yeah, one point uh, five. <laughs> basically, 
And now I'm playing Undertale. I'm going to start in Act 2 tonight, more than likely. Oh, nice. Lord, don't, don't talk to Jay Barry about uh, Undertale. Uh, I'll put him on. I'll put him on. One man said that's one of, the that best, best, one of the best games of all time. I'll put he him said it on. Life. Told, that man said it changed his life. I told Jay Barry, if you're going to play this game, your life is going to be changed. And look at him now. He's <laughs> preaching the gospel. Now, everything <laughs> is hashtag respect gaming now. <laughs> respect Everything. gaming, respect Undertale. The damn yeah, kid with the hat on. I'm sick of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> respect gaming. You stop using that name, me, boy. <laughs> you gotta respect me. <laughs> Yo, what game you playing, bro? Oh, uh, I actually finally um got my way through uh, the Crash Bandicoot trilogy thing because Yo, I pray for your hands and your. It was it was a chore, man. Crash got trash. I mean, the three was fucking garbage. Excuse my language. Mm. Um, three was bad. It was terrible. And I, it just took me a while to get through it. But I beat that. And right now I'm playing through Evil Within on PC, getting ready for the sequel. And uh, Life is Strange. I just beat episode two of the first Life is Strange. So I'm playing. I need all of y'all to hurry up and beat this. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah Demi, Demi been telling me to jump on. I have it. I bought it months ago. Are y'all, y'all talking about season one or season? I mean, y'all talking about part one or two? First yeah, part one, one. Part one. First one. Okay, I've been on. I've been over with that. I'm done. I'm good. But the decisions, I'm a, I'm a, man, they got me. They got me pausing the game just to make decisions. It's it's some tough choices. Yeah, so it I, is. I, I recommend it so far. That's what, for, for myself, I, I've been playing Watch Dogs 2 and Doom. I've been going back oh. and forth between the two. Uh, I will, I'm not gonna lie, I am, I am kind of just, I'm starting to zone out a little bit because the game I want to play, which is Final Fantasy, 15, Final Fantasy 15, is there. But I know if I stop playing Watch Dogs, um, I'm not gonna go back to it. So Do I'm yourself to, a favor. What? Just stop playing Watch Dogs 2. Ah. Nah, man. <laughs> and then uh, I finished Lost Legacy, which, Lord have mercy. That's an amazing. Did you like it? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I heard it. I heard you heard like it, it in Uncharted Four. Uncharted Four. Yes. Here's the reason why: because I enjoy Chloe and Nadine's banter and their relationship, their characters. I enjoyed them a lot more than, than anything I got from Nathan Drake in Uncharted Four. Yeah. And I, why we wanted Chloe in the game? They was like, mm-hmm. "Why she's not a main character?" I'm like, Chloe yeah, had that ass Chloe. too. <laughs> yeah, oh, I agree with that. God. Like her relationship with Nadine is way better than the banter with like Nate and Sam. It's it just the whole, the whole, uh, just Whoa. being what Uncharted Four was to the series. I think helps it propel it above Lost Legacy I, for I, me. You Lost really, Legacy you really think so? You really think so, Jay? Lost Legacy, good. Yeah, bro. No, I don't yeah. trust. I don't trust Fame's um, gamer intuition when it comes to games because he don't like good games like that. Oh, Lost Legacy is fire. Oh. Yeah. Like, Nick, I, Nick, Nick, I still got the physical copy if you want to borrow. I'm out. Yo, I'm gonna tell you like. This. Oh, really? When it, I, I, every bad it. Thing I, said, I take every bad thing I said about you. Hey back. guys, <laughs> Crunk is trying to talk here, guys. What are we talking about? Uncharted. Oh, What's Crunk wow. talking about right now? Is it important? <laughs> oh Lord! Oh, <laughs> you lucky mine here, my D O S. Oh, my would be in your ass. Real talk, though, I don't think it mattered who they paired Chloe with. People were gonna love it because. Chloe is like one of those lovable characters. She needs to have her own game. Like, and I'm glad they mm. gave her one. Even though okay, question. With, Nadine, with, with Nadine, but still. Who in here beat the game? I, I didn't. But I love Chloe. I was mad she okay. wasn't in four. I was pissed. They made question. The, yep. the, the scene with the helicopter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did Spoilers. you not did you not Spoilers. see the button prompt for L1? Spoilers. <laughs> you know what happened with that? Yeah, I saw it, but it was like years, ladies and gentlemen. it was random. It was random. Like it random. This ain't no spoiler. They spoiling the <laughs> because I'm running around. I'm running around like, bro, what do I do? But we're not because I, I just want to yeah. ask. But it was random. That's all I'm gonna say. It was random. I got one question. Do you yeah, think the game looks like. Does it look better than Uncharted Four? I've been here a lot of people. It looks the same. It's to the, me. Same. It's the same. It has better same. environments. I I can yeah. Get it. I think it has better. But it's, it, it looks the same. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to the first topic. Um, as you guys can see in the title. I had seen somebody have a little small debate about this on social media uh, about the best game developer. And so, in my opinion, I think the, the two that I heard that talk about the most are Bethesda and Naughty Dog. Now, the opinions may be that th- those two aren't the top two, but that's the two we're going to go with today. And then, uh, if you guys want to say what developer you guys think the best, go and let, let us know. So, I'm going to go around the panel and get you guys to thought who is, who is killing the game right now? Who is on top of the gaming developer world right now, but Bethesda, 
or Naughty Dog? Let's start with uh, let's start with uh, Demi. Demi oh. the God. Oh wow. My choice wasn't between the two, but uh, I'm gonna go with Bethesda for right now. Ooh. They have much more interesting concepts and games that seem to pull more people in. Not taking anything away from Naughty Dog with Uncharted and The Last of Us, but Bethesda just and Crash. and Crash and Crash, but it just seems that Bethesda has a universal pull in for like Skyrim, Fallout, and now they're pulling even more people in Wolfenstein, The Elder Scrolls Online. If they're just hitting every corner they can right now, and they're doing it well. So, if if those aren't the your top developer, who's your top developer? Who's Rockstar? Who's number one? Right? Now? Okay. Preach. <laughs> I eat that. It's Rockstar and Naughty Dog. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, Jalissa, Bethesda or Naughty Dog, and if those are your top two, who's your number one developer? I don't like Bethesda's games when it comes. I don't like Fallout. I don't like uh, like Oblivion and all. I don't like none of those games. But I mm. do like Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein, this generation has the best first person story I've ever played. Like that 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 game is amazing story wise. Um, but Naughty Dog, I, I I would say Naughty Dog, and like Nick said, the best developer is Rockstar. It's Rockstar, and then I think it's Naughty Dog. In that order, I, I said that. <laughs> yeah, I gotta give it to Rockstar, man. It, it, okay, sure okay. The problem. I hopefully nobody, no game. I hopefully nobody's game dies. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> J Man, we got yes, Bethesda sir. or Naughty Dog. If those on your top, well, which one is the better developer? Which, mm-hmm. Who's on top of the game more? If those on your top two, <clears throat> the best developer right now that's killing the game. Oh um, well, I when my man said Rockstar, I said preach because I mean what Rockstar does, I don't think anybody could top them. They the attention to detail that they put into these GTA games, I mean, you just could play it over and over and it, it just don't get old, you know. These are classics. Um, so that's my top. But if I had to pick between the two, I'm gonna go with Naughty Dog, but not just because I'm a big fan, but I haven't really played much of Bethesda games. I'm gonna be honest right now. Like other than Wolfenstein and what I'm playing through with the Evil Within, like I have not played through like Dishonored. Um, I haven't even played the Doom from last year yet. I haven't played Fallout. Like I'm not a fan of Fallout. And then when it comes to like the Elder Scrolls, I've only beaten Oblivion. So, like I acknowledge their variety. They have a great variety of games, and you got to give them credit for that. But I just can't judge them because I haven't really played much of their games. So, but their variety is dope. I really like that. All right, Nick, uh, Bethesda or Naughty God? <laughs> yeah, you already know. Um, so I'm going to say <laughs> this. Um, for me, Bethesda games, um, a lot of them I don't really like, like J-Man said. Like um, Dishonored, you know, I played that game, couldn't get into it, thought it was boring. I was never into Fallout. I think those games are boring. Um, honestly, the only game that they do publish that I really do like that have is like Wolfenstein that I really always be looking forward to is Wolfenstein. Um, and also we got to keep in mind that um, Bethesda is a, a publisher. I know they're, they have Bethesda game works that develop games, but mostly the games that we're talking about here, they're developed by other, you know, studios like uh, yeah. such as arcane and then Machine Tango. games did Wolfenstein. Mm-hmm. So from a publisher, the publisher <clears throat> standpoint, you know, you have to look at it. Like, is it Sony versus, but that's the, you know what I'm saying? Oh, different um, conversation. You know, wow, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So, but that's it doesn't pop, doesn't develop all those games, is what I'm trying to say. So, no, that's a good point. Good you know point. what I'm saying? So, Naughty Dog is the developer, and um, they make better games to me in general, hands down. Naughty Dog takes it. So, yeah. Okay. They, they just have better, unique games and stuff. Like these, but that's the games, a lot of them, they just put me to sleep. Like a lot of them are just the same to me, you know, but. That's just my opinion. I also, oh, can I ask something real quick? Oh yeah, go ahead, bro. Uh, I also do think Bethesda gets a pass for their performance in their games. Um, the Fallout Four, I think, performed terribly, and I think people look past that. So, um, so it's a media bias. <laughs> I ain't gonna call it that, <laughs> <laughs> but but I do think that I, I don't know. I think it's just because they're so beloved 
that yeah, maybe people just look past it. They do get a clear pass a lot. They look past it because Naughty Dog's games are pretty much flawless from a technical standpoint. A lot of them are. I mean, not flawless completely, but pretty much compared to Bethesda, they are flawless. But yeah, they could be in the past. Let like, any other game come out with the same kind of bugs yeah, and glitches, and they yeah. would tear that game apart. They would. Yeah. yeah. That's a all I'm match, A match made in heaven for the ultimate mode of media bias is Wolfenstein 2 and Doom coming to Nintendo Switch because everyone said. <laughs> Which gets a bias. Nintendo gets a bias. Now people say Bethesda gets a bias. Uh, do you guys think that's like the ultimate match? You guys shocked that all of those two games are coming to the Switch? Yeah, I was shocked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Me and Kofi live streamed the event, and I was like, dude, what the hell is going on? <laughs> because just seeing third-party support on the Switch is like foreign to me right now. So um, to hear Doom is, is coming, I'm like, wow. How are those games going to run like they're supposed to on the Switch, like realistically? At 30 frames? At most at 30 frames, less textures, like it's not gonna be the same type of game. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so Jay, you got the switch, right? Or whatever. So, yeah. like, is the is the idea here that the game is gonna look better on that little portable? Like, oh hell then, no. Okay, then like what? I'm, Other I'm like, I don't I don't understand. Um, I mean, I, I I'm cool with them getting third party games. I think that's cool and everything, because that is new. Yeah. Uh, but I really don't still I don't see the point, man. Like the games so, aren't gonna be the same. Right. So like you said, the games are going to look worse. The uh, the perk with the Switch that is different from, of course, consoles and PC is the portability. And for a lot of people, that's not something that's interesting. But for me, I work. I actually, like when I have like Mario Kart and uh, Splatoon, I actually have more time to game at work than I'd be having at home. So like I've put in, I put, I'd be Persona 4 Golden like throughout a week at work. Where do you and Kofi, where do you hold on one second? Where, you, where <laughs> the hell? Where the hell do you and Kofi work that y'all get to play games all damn day? That, that I, oh. I look at Kofi's Twitter. This dude's always on Twitter talking <laughs> about he's sitting at home, he's sitting at work playing the Switch. I'm like, how, what? What jobs do y'all do? Like, what are y'all doing for a living, man? I, I can't do that at my job, dog. I get fired. You know yeah. what I'm well, I used to work overnight, so that was like a big thing for me. Um, I take care mm-hmm. of my disabled, disabled people, so. Uh, working overnight, they sleeping, so I'm chilling, cleaning the house, so I do my thing. Okay, okay, okay. that makes now sense. security and overnight jobs. Like, live in Canada, so I know there's no consequences of doing anything in Canada. Anything wrong in Canada? <laughs> he he wakes up, drives to get a check, and then that's his work. You know what I'm saying? They get, you know, he's living good over there. <laughs> so uh, speaking of the well, let me let me ask let me ask you this, Nick. You know what, what I'm saying? We got to play Wolfenstein two on that's PC. It. At um, QuakeCon. Yeah, that's right. That's right, sir. Ain't no, uh, ain't no other way to play this. Ain't no way in hell I would do that. A uh, downgrade to the Switch. Yeah, oh, there's no <laughs> absolutely on PC. Not. Like you absolutely. gotta be like, if Jay Main, there's no listen way. Listen to me, bro. There's no way, fam. Yo. If you tell me that you buy that game on your Switch and not your PC, <laughs> delete, delete yourself, bro. Delete. You're delete not your, gonna hear that from me. Delete your existence. You're not sir. gonna hear that from me, bro. If anything, I'll double dip, but I'm not. I'm not buying it on the Switch before I, can, I even I think excuse, about buying it on the PC. I can excuse the double dip, but me and Fame, you know, we console peasants, fam, and we were yeah. playing this at QuakeCon, bro. It made us consider getting a PC or finish building our damn PC. Right. So it, was, we, it was. It was. It was do it. Do it. We were like, we are many steps behind, realistically, dog. That and the Evil Within too. That and the Evil Within Yes, Lord, have mercy. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, I played both of those. I might play those two on PC, bro. Visuals and how smooth it was to play on PC, bro, at that event. It was amazing. (laughs) 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 I realize how trash we are at Mouse and Keyboard. Oh, I'm We trash at Mouse and Keyboard. We are horrible, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I was working it for a minute on that Doom, fam. I was working it for a minute, dog. I was. <laughs> now Kofi had he had brought up a point when we were talking about the whole Doom being on the Switch, and he's like, he's like, I want to buy these games to show the third party developers that, um, you know, that we want their support. But to me, honestly, I don't give a fuck. Damn, I don't care about no, third party support. Right. No, right. I'm, I'm, sure. no, I'm trying not to curse as much. So you can say, I'm you can say, fuck. I'm you can just fucking fuck myself up personally. Say it, but, bro. <laughs> I, I'm trying. I, I don't care about third party support that much on the Switch because to me, Nintendo's big thing is their first party. Like their unique first party stuff is where I'm at. I'm third party too, though, man. I, they need. I, I feel like they need both. Yeah, yeah, I agree. They need both, but uh. some kids, yeah. some kids is gonna only get a Switch for their for Christmas or whatever, and they only gonna play a sub sub amount of games. I want them to play third party games too. They should wanna have both. Yeah, like from their perspective, yeah, they should definitely want to have both to appeal to more people. But for me, they doing enough with their first party 
because it's like I said, the Switch is not my primary console. So if I'm playing on right. PC and console and like PS4, that's where I'm gonna be playing most of my third party stuff anyway. No, right but now he's, he's, he's right. Cool like, take it on the go though. Man. Thing it's cool to take it on the go. Oh yeah, I agree. Right now, Nintendo is killing that first party though. They they are yeah, murdering. They are, they are, they're having a great year. They're having a better year than what I thought they were gonna have. But the Here's one of the two biggest issues I have with the Switch, right? Number one is the whole party chat system is because you guys know I had a switch. I had it day one. Mm-hmm. I had a switch day one. I bought it for three hundred and I sold it for like three fifty, four hundred dollars, right? Because I was like, I'm not using this. My biggest issue with the switch that would make me my another if it changed. Number one, the party chat system is dumb, mm-hmm. absolutely stupid, Preach. asinine. Number two, which we we're going to dive into this now, that might be changing. There is no achievement system, and I'm not an achievement whore. Mm-hmm. I'm not, but damn it, I want to reward for doing certain stuff in a game. So we got this rumor that the Switch may or may not may be getting achievements or achievements are being worked on. I want to get you guys' thoughts. Is this, you know, welcome 2015 Nintendo, or is this like, <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you guys think about Nintendo no, no, finally? No, no, no. It's going to be <laughs> critical for all the Nintendo purists out there who are like, Oh, I don't care about achievements. For well, 2005, I say 15, 2005. Yeah, the, the, I, for them Nintendo purists, the ones that was like, I'm never buying, uh, I'm never paying for this, I'm never that. Nintendo has been inching away from that, just like they're making them pay for uh internet. I'm not internet, but uh multiplayer now. Yep. And they sell like just like some Sony people. I ain't never th- you doing it now. But <laughs> do you guys think achievements will appeal to more a variety of people with what happens? Sure. It will. It it'll for the pe- it's a lot of people like us who the Switch isn't their primary console and we we're so engulfed in an ecosystem to where we feel like if we buy a third party game over there, we're not gaining anything but just beating the game. Mm-hmm. And the achievements, even if you I can you can beat a game right now and at least get t- between twenty and forty percent of the trophies by just playing and beating the game. You ain't got a trophy whore. Yeah. I mean having that third is nice. It's, yeah, it's, they just late as hell. It's crazy how like achievements have become like a part of gaming at this point. Um, mm-hmm. Before Thank like three six, like yeah, before like Microsoft had the whole achievement system going, it was all right to just play a game and just beat it and be fine. But yeah. having that notification, that noise pop up when you do something, like you don't even gotta care to hunt these trophies, but it's just that it's like gratifying just to hear that that it achievement is, pop up. And like when I was playing Zelda, <laughs> I'm almost 100% sure I would still be playing that game if it had achievements. I'm not doing all these damn shrines if I ain't getting no achievements. Bro. <laughs> I'm not. It's too many. It's too many. I'm not doing it. I need some type of reward other than just completing games at this point. <laughs> you know what, though? It also <laughs> gives the developers to to like laugh at themselves because some of the names of these achievements be funny as hell. Like, oh, some, like you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it, it gives. Uh, uh, the developers a chance to have some fun outside mm-hmm. of the game with the trophies and what they name them and all that stuff. Yeah, here's my only problem with the achievement though. Stuff is like, I mean, I was really like into those achievements when Xbox 360 uh came on and everything. It, it it made the games last oh, longer. Yeah. Yes, oh, it did. Oh, it made the games last longer. What? What's wrong? You buy now or something? That boy Nick getting hit with an EMP. Oh, like you about to say, show me your leader. <laughs> oh, your base are belong to us. <laughs> <laughs> that boy Nick is trying out for XCOM right now. Wow. Oh, Can y'all hear me now? No. Ah, all right, all right. Pause, pause, pause. I'll be back. Wait, wait. Oh, there, there you go. There you go. You got better. I'm back. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All I want to see is man. I is, thought I was the Xbox. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> they um <laughs> they extend the game and everything like that, but it becomes an obsession for me and um to the point where I spend too much time on one game and I can't get to like other games timely. So that's my only problem with achievements. Yeah. As long as they don't have collection like achievements, because I know certain games will. As long as they don't stem like make it over like collection based, I'm fine with like getting them. Kind of like Assassin's Creed. Oh, you yeah. know they will. Most world games are like that. Yeah, like um, like Nick was saying, the uh, achievements. I actually like or even trophies. I had to stop chasing them because I was just getting too caught up. Like the last platinum I got was Horizon Zero Dawn, and I told myself if 
if I beat a game and I'm not a certain percentage done with the trophy list, I'm not even going to go further. So if I'm not like 75% done just from beating the game once, then I'm not even going to chase the platinum because you're going to get too deep into it and you're going to yeah, spend yeah. way too much time on these games. Like, And that's cool because that, that gives people reasons to go back to play games. And that's something that Nintendo games are missing without having achievements. So, yes, they need to bring it. I got, yo, I got one platinum. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't chase platinums. I beat the game. I got like 13. I got one. Do you want to know that one? <laughs> uh, Walking Dead? Yes, sir. I'm like mm -hmm. a level 15, level 16 trophy uh, level, and I don't have but one platinum because hmm. I don't care about platinums. I just beat the game and I'm done with it. Yeah, I play so many open world games. I get caught like chasing trophies and achievements. I'm not chasing. I don't have that I... many platinums. That's why I got kicked off a of trophy life podcast. <laughs> oh, oh, oh you ain't gaming out here in these streets, oh, man. If I beat that joint, that joint is done for. I'm Speaking not chasing. on trophy life uh, podcast. Uh, trophy life podcast needs to do uh, looking for new members. Uh, if you guys, if you guys <laughs> want to uh, <laughs> put in an application, go ahead hit me up. Go ahead, hit me up I'll on the word. And uh, we are looking for new members of Trophy Life because uh, Nick is hashtag about that 2XP. Life, you heard me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, so so we're all, in, I guess, in agreement that this needs to happen. For yeah, I agree. I agree. Yes. Nintendo needs, needs something good in their life besides these regular ass games. And they need to stop updating this Nintendo Online mobile app. Uh, delete that thing and make a native voice chat app on the Switch while they add it. Now, don't you want to connect your phone to your to bro, everything going uh, on? Yo, e imagine <laughs> to, 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 to show somebody how to do that shit. Like, <laughs> like imagine you your friend that doesn't isn't a gamer buys their kid that and they trying to and they know you play games and you got to explain to them and break that down. How that shit works. I'm not doing it. Just call me on my phone, man. <laughs> Imagine if you're in the middle of a heated clan match and you get a phone call disconnecting from party chat. Oh, you know, that's what the update was yesterday. They just updated. So now when you use other apps, the uh the voice chat doesn't stop. Oh. So now it's wow. not just shit, it's shit with sprinkles. Mm. Oh wow. Sound like it's just bad battery drain at this point. <laughs> I'll say this. Doesn't, doesn't the switch have a it, it doesn't it doesn't have a, a jack, do it? Has a head, does it have a headphone jack? Yes. But it's, it's so dumb not to be able to use it then. <laughs> you know what, though? It seems that Nintendo takes like 10 steps forward, and then they trip over themselves with their left foot and take like five five big-ass heels back. Talk to them. That's like, like Apple. Apple. Hey, no, they don't need to plug nothing into, into this. Here. We're going to make them buy some extra stuff. Yeah, that was stupid. To, to, to be able to use some head, some regular he headphones bro. all day, but that was stupid. That's why I never <laughs> bought that. That's why I never <laughs> bought the phone. I know cats. I'm gonna use my headphone while phone. I charge. Cats is still gonna buy that phone though. <laughs> I can't even say that. I'm an Apple. I'm an Apple head. I'm an Apple head, man. I am too, dog. <laughs> wait a minute. So y'all gonna buy that X? Oh, oh yeah, I get, I get Xbox everything. Xbox One X? Come on, get damn, I know iPhone X. iPhone X. I knew he was going to do that, John. Sir, I'm iPhone afraid. is getting Sky exclusive, uh, timed exclusive, sir, so I need that. Hey, hey Fame not even buying on One X, man. Don't, don't, let him, don't let him do this to you. Oh, yeah, ain't you not getting it? The One X? No, I'm not, I, I'm not buying the day one. Exposed. Mm -hmm. It's exposed, has exposed, and I made a video about it. Exposed. I made a video under. Well, I'm not trying to hear it. You're not buying it. I made a video that says top three reasons. I made a video that says top three reasons not to buy their lunch, and I was killed by the same people who said to me because it's mad that I wasn't buying it at, at, at lunch. How oh, you yeah, supposed you to be, how you supposed like, be that? Wait, how you supposed to be the Xbox guy? Like, how you supposed to be the Xbox that's, guy? That's I, mean, I was I was deemed the Xbox guy by other people. Not mm. not me. I never called myself the Xbox guy. Mm. Other people did, so they, it's their own fight for all fault for assuming. No, you you you, you, you are the Xbox all, guy by always defending the trash. Uh, system you know what though? All oh. hell broke loose once you said you like Verizon. As soon as you said Microsoft. Oh yeah, that's true. This man he like a game he don't even play. Nah, he's been like this since Uncharted <laughs> Four. He said Uncharted Four was game of the year last year. And Yo, I, they, were, right. they weren't that triggered last year when he said Microsoft needs some a uh, Horizon. Mm -hmm. yeah, I saw your comment section turn up after that. <laughs> what you, you mean? Fat, stuttering <laughs> fuck. We hate you. I'm unsubbing. I was like, God. They threw the Microsoft beanies off. They was mad at you, bro. Ooh. 
Ooh. It was so funny, man. He was on Twitter like, you know what? I'm going to make a video. I said, oh, I'm waiting on it. He said, <laughs> This man fame like being Kobe out here. He just like to embrace the hate so much. All of them were like triggered, bro. dog. Like you triggered the whole. Like for the people who buy the X, they want that's dope. Like I'm, I'm glad you support the industry. But dope. my main reasons for not buying the day one is this, is one of the biggest reasons is right when I bought my my regular Xbox and then that next year, all those bundles start dropping and then that Halo Five theme console came out. I'm like, bro, like, why did I buy this old, early? <laughs> why I got this old regular regular old black one? So what I'm gonna do is 2018 when they, they start dropping those theme consoles, you know, and maybe next uh, Black Friday may drop twenty dollars, whatever the case may be. I'm gonna get a, gonna, a, a bundled theme console. You're gonna stay the gay two edition. Stay to the gay. State of the gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's state right. of the gay. No state sir. The state of the gay. <laughs> no sir. State of the gay too. <laughs> I'm gonna get that one, but state of the gay. No, play. I don't know what game cool. that is. No, maybe about the the Rainbow Coalition. You know about that? Like? We, we cool on that. Oh, I'm, good. I'm good. Just asking. I'm good. Like, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with staying in the game. Yourself, ain't nothing wrong with staying in the game, man. It's okay. It's all right. Stay up the game. <laughs> <laughs> I want to touch on something really fast before we get to the next topic. Um. We talked about Horizon Zero Dawn. You guys know when I played it, I love Horizon Zero Dawn. When I played it, I instantly screamed to the top of my top of my lungs, top of the rooftop game of the year, right? I love Aloy. That's my game. But I was in the heat of the moment because the real game of the year has not dropped yet. And that's South Park Fractured. Nah, you tripping. Stop. Butthole, right? Oh. South Park is wow. Game of the year, right? Shut so up, check this man. out. This, Shut up. What do you guys think Shut about up. the difficulty slider? That's that dope. If you're, oh, if that's you're, that is dope. Like, if, you're, if you're light skinned, like the people interact with you like better, like your life is just that much. Like the game doesn't change whether or not the, the enemies are harder or different, or harder or easier, but your life and the way people interact with you are different if you're light skinned and dark skinned. What do you guys think about that? As a light skinned man, my life ain't been that easy, but this is hilarious. <laughs> this is hilarious. It is, it is. And I'm even lighter than Demi, and my life ain't that easy. But right. I, do like, I do like the premise. I think it's hella creative, bro. Like, I ain't never seen nothing like that. I think, Speaking I, think from it's the- bold. I think it's bold, too, dog, because people could very easily get offended. Um, mm-hmm. But leave it, up to, leave it up to the creators of South Park to not give a shit. Yeah, they they don't never, give but it. they never they they've done this with the last They game. never give a shit. They yeah, never do it on their TV you know show. The I think it's amazing. Changed. I think it's amazing. That's what it is. The climate has changed, and they still don't, they've been doing this forever. This is nothing. When, when we saw this, we probably just laughed. When some of them triggered people out there on Twitter saw it, like they did, uh, what was that, a few, a few months ago when Far Cry was showed and you saw how that big hoopla on Twitter was? Oh, people yeah. Were mm. And they did this with the first game. They, uh, If you were Jewish, you got more money, but you got less XP. The first game was... Oh, I didn't really? notice that. I didn't know that. I, I never played the first one. So really? What? Yo, you, yo, yo, I got it on my PC. I, I got to play Wait, it. Wait, who didn't play the first one? I have exposed. I have not. Main, oh. sir. I I you know if you get the- hey, what's wrong with y'all, G? I don't like turn based. I don't. I don't like that. How do y'all know? Wait, how do y'all? I like, like, like turn based. I just haven't played. Well, it. I'm telling you, it's funny as hell. I can't stand turn based games. You fighting in the yo, you. Oh, man, I don't want to tell good. the game. Oh my god, no, I haven't. I'm- I haven't laughed so hard playing a video game and not taking the game serious, just having fun with it, more than <laughs> South Park. South Park is amazing. I love this. This. Skin color difficulty feature. Um, it's a great. It's it's fucking great. Like as a guy speaking from the dark skin community. Darkness. Darkness, brother. It's gonna be. It's gonna be funny. It's gonna be funny playing on very difficult because that's how I like to play my games anyway. So. It's funny that they ain't gonna be the blackest dude on the game. (laughs) They ain't gonna be the whitest dude. He playing them games like I'm Mr. Popo out here, man. Let's go. (laughs) (laughs) A lot of people gonna get exposed. A lot of people gonna get exposed. We're gonna see what you're gonna know when somebody beat the game what they beat it on because we're gonna know what color they were. I wanna see Nick's character. Nick gonna pick the whitest, he's gonna pick the lightest color he can. (laughs) <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna pick one that's comparable to me, sir. Okay, the, light bright, the lightest. light bright, and damn near white. Okay, facts. Damn. Yeah, like- <laughs> so uh, getting all the hoes. Oh, I'm sorry. We, we, oh we, my god. Oh. <laughs> my bad. I thought I muted myself. My bad, y'all. Continue. You can't so, say that. Uh, say it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> So in my my last video, if you guys have been 
keep it up my channel. I said this will be the last time I talked about the situation. But Devil XP came. <laughs> we talk about controversial shit. He lied. So <laughs> this will be the last time I talk about it on this channel. So until until tomorrow when you got an answer for what you're gonna say today. Facts. Mm -hmm. These are facts. Yeah. PewDiePie. Pie. Oh, you got mm. my thoughts on it. Dropped the N word. <sighs> and he came out and he made an apology video. And I'm going to speak for myself while I, while I let the panel speak. I will say I have a thousand times more respect for him to nut up and apologize more than I do for the people who supported him saying it wasn't a big deal or just a word. Because if it wasn't a big deal or just a word, he wouldn't have apologized. So it takes it takes a grown man to go on camera in front of 57 million people who are subscribed to him plus. 57 million plus and apologize and admit and say you're wrong and admit and say you were an idiot. It takes, it takes a strong man to do that. You're still wrong for what you did. I respect the apology. But what's worse than what he did is the people who are still, after his apology, defending and saying what he said was perfectly fine. I want to get the panel's thoughts about this. Uh, let's start with Crunk Girl. I have been going at it with things. <laughs> I'm I'm political correct, and I say the N word around black people all the time, people. Mm. And I I couldn't help myself, but call all of them fucking stupid. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> they told me that because I said that if you say that word in a black neighborhood, most I don't I can't help you. They're saying that I basically per are saying that black people are violent. Mm. I said no. Black people are just tired of being MLK and they're ready to be Malcolm X on your ass. Mm -hmm. Preach. That's just Damn. the truth. Like, I don't know what, I don't, yo, only only person I can understand not even saying the N word that's not black is one of the, one, one of one name that I know everybody in their hood got is a white Mike. And mm. even he don't even be saying. He grew up in the culture. Yeah, he just grew up in, in the hood and the culture and you know what I'm saying he might slip and slide a little bit, but the boys gonna be like, nah man, don't say that. Well, it depends on what boys he's around. They may give him the pass. I told this guy, I'm like, he was like, Well, you can't tell me what I can't say and y'all use it. I'm like, you know what? Those are always the excuses that people use to want it to that it's like y'all wanna they want to perpetuate our culture and they wanna use the language that we use. But they want us to stay in our place and not be where they're at when it comes to everything else. Mm. Mm. It makes absolutely no sense to me. It's like they want everything we got. And and then when we want something they want, they, they want us to stay in our place. <laughs> but my, my, my main question is, are you, how do you feel about the apology? You cool with the apology? I ain't even watched that damn apology. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. I mean... He can you can apologize for something, but I I dead ass believe he forgot he was live streaming and he said that like it's normal. Right, I agree with that. Cause you know at first she can be like, uh, maybe he just effed up and slipped. But when well, I heard it, I was like, hold up, I had to rewind it and play. One it. thing it's like the apology that kind of made me kind of backtrack a little bit. What he was he the fact that he said I just said the worst thing I could think of. So you thought about saying it, like you thought. Right. You had a you had a you had a month you had a millisecond to think, and that's the words you said. Like you mm -hmm. can't say it's the worst thing I could think of. Like then you that means you thought about what you were saying. But so basically, I, the worst thing you can think of is, is calling whoever you were playing against the n word. Like that's that's so calling someone the n word is a word that you use to put them down or 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 to call them that that demeans them. Now, see, here's, here's the thing. I'm not mad at Pews for, for saying it. You know, I'm like, at this point, the fact he came out and apologized and put himself out there, because That's off, cool. off this mic, when this mic is off, Nick know in person, I can say some messed up stuff. Mm -hmm. Nick knows it. So, uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know what I would do if I took up and said something crazy <laughs> on a live stream. It'd be hard to come up and apologize. I'm not defending what he's saying. What he said was wrong. But I respect the apology. I'm, I'm I'm not even mad at him no more. It's the defenders. It's the defenders. The defenders are like, oh, it's okay, and y'all are triggered, and y'all let the y'all have it, the the word has power and all this crazy stuff. And I'm like, yo, you going, yo, 
you you have a right to say something. I also have the right to slap shit out of you, dog. Like, <laughs> like dudes in my hood will beat your ass and, take <clears throat> and put them joints on the power line, dog. Like, damn, the put the cheeks in the hood. I don't live in no hood. Mm. But uh, Jay, Jay, man, I'm just saying, I'm from the hood, man. That, that's where I used to live at before I stay where I stay at now. And the cats that I know, not man, they. They yeah. barely like Jehovah Witnesses coming to the hood, knocking on your door. Talking about <laughs> freaking a white boy talking about he can come to somebody and say the N-word and they ain't gonna nothing happen. Uh-uh. Yeah, <laughs> Damn, man, what are your thoughts, brother? Oh, man. So, like probably most of y'all, we've been seeing on Twitter, it's, it's the defense force is crazy for this, man. The I mean, racism defense force. Yeah, like, all right. He, he said what he said. So, I have my beef with what he said because... Um, I actually saw a video where he slipped up and actually kind of partially said it in another live stream a while ago. So I'm just like, all right, at this point, I know what, what kind of person he is. He's the type of person that behind closed doors, this is what he says. So yeah. even though he did do his apology video, I'm, I am i don't really care for that because I'm more about actions. Show me who you are. I don't want to hear about who you are. Um, PewDiePie has definitely, you know, a lot of people want to talk about how he's, been very charitable and stuff like that. Cool, but You're giving him a million dollars to Africa, apparently. Yeah, let's not forget Donald Sterling also won the NAACP award. Ooh. And what kind, of, what kind of person he was? So mm. you know, behind mm. closed doors, we don't know who you are. Damn, you know what I'm saying if I, so, like, I don't want to hear none of that. And then the people want to come around and they want to say, "Oh, it's just a word." Okay, so you're gonna tell me how to react to just a word, and not it. It doesn't even have to be violent. Go to work and say that. You know, say that word to your boss or something like that. You're they ain't gonna fire. react with violence. They're gonna fire you. And then what you gonna do? You are gonna be homeless out on the streets over just a word? They because it on, on people Facebook pages, you say something like that, <laughs> Facebook and mofo, they report you. They fire. Yeah, you. yeah. So I'm just like, and then for the people, you know, yeah, there's gonna be some people that might get violent with you when it comes to saying the uh, saying the n word and. I'm not advocating violence, but this is, you can't tell somebody how to react. They're going to deal with the consequences just like you have to deal with the consequences. And, you know, it's better to just not say it, you know, when it comes to like racial slurs and even, you know, uh, sexual slurs, I, if, if somebody's offended by it, I try, I try not to use it as a child. Yeah. Did I say things like, Oh, that was gay. Yeah. But once I learned as an adult that that's not right. And that's, that hurts people's feelings. I understand that. All right, I'm not going to use that anymore. Because you know what, right. I know what it's like to be a part of a group that's been called really something to degrade you. And you know what I'm saying? You feel like less than a yeah. freaking human being. Yeah, you know you what I'm saying? Feel, yeah, it makes you feel that's less than a thing. That, that should it, last it, with just you like for a very long time. It's just that, like you know calling you a boy, yo. Like, so if somebody call you a. Oh, Lord, Crump. <laughs> Edit, 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 edit. More edit. work for fame. More work for fame. If somebody calls you the N-word or somebody calls you the boy, it's the same exact thing to, to you guys. I would I would suspect that. Yeah, so I'm just like, I, I'm not going back and forth on Twitter no more. I say what I got to say. I'm not responding to nobody because I can't change nobody's mind over the internet. Um and that's just how, how it's going to be. If you want to have a conversation, maybe pull up in my DMs. Or if you want to see me in person, then we could do that. But I'm not I'm not having ain't no conversation. Nobody doing, ain't nobody doing that. They ain't going to be the same thing. conversation. Ain't going right. to be the same conversation in person, fam. It's right. And not. once I realized that, I, I stopped wasting my, my, my 140 exactly. characters. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Jimmy, you got thoughts on this, brother? Oh, yeah. Even though I dropped the video on this, and uh, I pretty much addressed everything, I feel like... Even though he apologized, he, he still doesn't get a pass for it. I don't care if you're in the heat of the moment. I don't care if you're angry because we've all been angry. We've all been angry at the game. We've all been mad at something that's going on. But let's be honest. Who in here just says racial terms when they're mad at something? I Not sure me. don't. I sure don't. Yeah, I'm Thank not you. Like, that don't even come to my mind. I mean, I don't get it. I'm not out here calling. So many other words to use. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really the, isn't like word that's a what p or i don't want to say like you're eating a cracker or something like that but <laughs> I'll put it in that sentence but i'm not yeah saying that when i'm shooting somebody on call of duty or an nah. or something like that yeah not, not unless that level of hatred is already in you that's mm -hmm. yeah like that, that's it's already that's there 
your mind. Like, <laughs> and it, it bugs me. It bu- what bugs me the most is that he's obviously comfortable saying it. He says it behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. That bo- that bothers me just as much as the people defending it over Facebook, over Twitter, even on my video. I've had people tell me, yo, it's just a worry, you're giving it too much power. You shouldn't feel like that. Get over it. A lot of people are saying it's much more going on in the world, like hurricanes and earthquakes. We can think about more than just one thing. <laughs> we, yeah, exactly. We sure can. Always trying to sweep shit under the rug. People, yeah, if you're sweep, if you're sweeping it on, yeah, if you're sweeping under the keep rug. People's mouth shut. Yep. Or if you're I'm trying to I'm proud like, of people telling black people how to feel. Yep. Yeah. Thank somebody said it. Same. <laughs> people telling me how I'm supposed to feel. If you're telling people how to feel, if you're sweeping it under the rug, if you're trying to ignore it, if you're trying to say, "Oh, it's greater things to do or be worried about," you're just as bad as the person saying the word. And that's why mm-hmm. we. You, that's why Black Lives Matter exists right now because we just tired of being number two and number five. Like we just mm. tired, man. Like, how you gonna tell us how we supposed to feel? Now. <laughs> I, I see that he apologized, but is he apologizing to the people or is he apologizing for the sponsors he may lose around this subject too? Mm. Oh, yeah. I had that same question. We yeah, know, well, we know the answer. Is. Yo, he was on like uh, the national news sites that I be, yo, they were talking about him. <laughs> like, that's huge. Like, when you got these national outlets talking about you and about- he's, not the, he's not the number one gaming YouTuber, he's the number one YouTuber, period. And then Charlottesville right, exactly. and, happened, and all these t- these tensions with racism mm-hmm. and all that stuff been going on in the country. He he picked the wrong time to say that. Exactly. Word. So <laughs> I, I don't I don't feel bad for him. I don't have no sympathy for him. Yeah, you you apologize, but that doesn't do much for me because I know you're comfortable saying the word. The only person I let get away with it was Max because I know that was on accident. Mm. If anybody knows the whole Maximilian situation, when he said it, he was doing a rhyme alliteration and that slipped out. I know Max isn't like that. He might be, but I felt like Max had more sincere sincerity in his heart rather than PewDiePie, who first laughs about it, shrugs it off, then apologizes with like the most full apology on the stream. <laughs> that holds much more weight to me in the reaction. Right, how you react after something happens. Yeah, that, that holds much more weight to me because that's your genuine reaction to it rather than later you sitting down and firing up a response video after the backlash. It's kind of just like the Joel Osteen thing. <laughs> how, how, how many days was it that it took him to make that video? Like two oh. days. Yeah, I think it was two days. I would have did that the same day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he got hey. all caught up in the video game and said that word and thought, I guess he thought cats wasn't going to catch it. Nick, you got any thoughts on this, brother? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, first of all, um, when it comes to, you know, PewDiePie or whatever like that, I, I don't respect him as an individual or content creator. Period. Uh, I never thought he was interesting or entertaining whatsoever. Um, secondly, you know, what I'm saying, I, like a lot of you guys have stated, when it comes to him using that word and how he used it and stuff, um, you already know how he used it. He's that type of person. That's the type of person he is. So I don't respect him as a person. Now, you know what I'm saying? When you got a certain level of hatred in your heart already, eventually all darkness comes to the light. I'm just going to be straight up with you. So, like, that darkness is in him. That's how he feels about black people. You know what I'm saying? Period. That's how he feels about them. And that came out during that stream, and like J-Main said, in another stream. So he's a repeat offender. You know what I'm saying? He assaulted Jews and everything. He doesn't care about other races, bro. He looks down on other races. That's the type of man you people are praising. I don't care how much you love him, lick his balls, whatever. Um, <laughs> millions of subs he has, I don't care. This is the type of person you people are praising. You know what I'm saying? He's a racist, period. That's all he is. And as far as his apology goes, I don't respect his apology because it means nothing. You know what I'm saying? He just apologized because he's in the limelight, because he has millions of subs. He has advertisers, sponsors, all that stuff. That's the only reason why he apologized. So, no, I don't respect that apology whatsoever. I don't think he's a big man for apologizing or none of that shit. I think he's a little boy. I think he's a racist. I um, mean, he can go to hell and everybody who has a problem with that can also go to hell. Um, anybody also who has a problem with people standing up to him for saying the N word. Um, you, I feel a certain type of way about you as well. I feel like you're in the closet racist or you're trying to play, you know, the middle ground. You're, you're, you're trying to be on both sides of the fence. No, fam. Choose you this day who you will serve, my G. Um, but, because you can't, you can't play both sides. 
what side you on? This man said the N word. He said it with such passion and everything. So you know he says it all the time. You know how he feels about black people from this experience. So there's no going back. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not feeling anything about this man. Also, stop saying, stop saying just because it wasn't a black person that is not racist, just because that's a video game character. That doesn't help it either. Stop that. Yeah, how can how can how can a word like that with such history on you know, attached to it can just be said as just a word. I just don't, I don't get that. I can never get that. Like people either don't know the history of it or they just, they just they do don't care. They don't care. They the, don't care. The no, they don't care. This is the new after, age. They don't care, man. The political climate after November got a lot of these cats real bold. Yeah. It's a lot of real bold people around here with these, these uh closet tiki, uh, tiki torches. Who then took their hoods off and think it's oh, real God cool mercy. and think that we MLK out here and we tired of being quiet. I think, quiet. yeah, and you're speaking <laughs> of being quiet. I think when all this thing, all this popped off, whatever, like that, if, if people would have just closed their mouths and mind their own business and let people get out what they needed to say, this, this shit would have died down long before it has. You know what I'm saying? I, I, sometimes in your life, you got to look on the internet, you keyboard warriors out there, you got to look on the internet and realize when something's none of your damn business. <laughs> well, regardless of how you feel, regardless of what you want to say, just stay out of it. I've seen people who are kind of like, like I said before, riding the fence. They got their foot on this side, that side, trying to make excuses, but still trying to play like they're on our side and they understand where we're coming from. But there's no but to this, man. Just just stay out of it. You don't have to say anything. You it's all to do is the anime you ain't got on Twitter type, trying man. to tell us that too. Yeah, just they just need to shut up, bro. Like everybody just needs to stay out of this. Like, I got fired from so many Facebook groups just because, you know, I said, oh, yeah, I posted this around. Like, so he's going full racist. And then I posted the video like a day after. People's like, oh, man, you still talking about this? You're still going on, man. Let it go. Let it be. It's just a word. And then they try to, like, deflect it with something else going on. Like, <laughs> dude, shut up. <laughs> so we do, we do have one more gaming topic. Uh, I want to catch some of these people in Dollar General. <laughs> We do have one more game topic, but before we get to the topic, I just want to say uh, something I just ran across. Uh, you guys know when the Xbox One X releases, it will be recording games at 4K, 60 frames per second with HDR, which I think is absolutely amazing. But the original Xbox and Xbox One S is getting a update as well, where it can finally record at 1080p, and you can use external um, hard drives to capture gameplay. So, Nick, how we went to PAX... We gave to hook a hard drive up to the PS4. Uh, we capture gameplay. Um, yes. Uh, this next update to the Xbox, we can do that with Xbox as well. And oh, it's like okay. it, got, it get, finally gets a bump from 720p to 1080p. Uh, there we resolution. go. There That's we go. Pretty nice. significant. So, so look 60, at though? you, Xbox. Look at you. No, it's still going to be 1080, 30. Uh, I mean, well, it's still going to be 30, but it is 1080. <sighs> the Xbox, the Xbox, <laughs> the Xbox One is not good enough. 4K 60. And it records HDR. Wait, the One hey, X is doing that? The One X is recording 4K 60 with HDR. That's gonna wow. be a lot of space. Ooh, Boy, that's that's amazing though, because I think Elgato is about to come out with a card that's doing that. But yeah, that could be built into the system. Yes, jump, that's amazing. That is that's amazing, actually. That is, yeah. Especially cause... thinking about how much these Elgatos cost. Exactly. Right. You right. can have that feature already built into your console. That is pretty imperative, though. That's, that's yeah. Pretty dope. Mm -hmm. That's actually so, making me look at that 500 price tag. Like, that's not so bad after all. <laughs> so uh, the last thing I want to touch <sighs> on is what we, the news we heard about EA and them uh, wanting to move to a Netflix-style service. Uh, when I hear this, I merely think, okay, we're, they're not going to take their games out of store. We're still going to be able to buy the game. But um, if you don't want to go out and shell that 60 you can pay $10 a month, and you will have automatic access to Battlefield, Madden, UFC, etc. Uh, what do you guys think about this? And you guys think this was all started because of Xbox Game Pass? Hmm. I think it was a combination of that and what they were already doing with EA Access. Um, even though EA Access was just offering like certain games, I think was it per month or something like that. They add uh, to the vault. No, it's not per month. It was. It's been. It's. It's. They go a couple of months, three, four months, before they add a game to the vault because they're okay. not that big. So right. So I think what is it? Game Pass is every month they add something new. Uh yeah. I think by every month or every month, uh, every couple of every six to eight weeks they're adding uh, games to Game Pass. Mm. So I think 
if I was somebody who bought EA games on a regular yearly basis, like if I was a, a Madden and an NBA Live guy every year, and then in order, and then I get everything else that they're coming out with that year for what is it, say $10 a month, which would be like $120 a year. I think that's worth it because you're going to be spending that probably off two games anyway, and then you get everything else in the library. So, um, it's something that I don't know if people are going to gravitate towards because everything is moving to subscriptions now. And by, by the time we add these things up, we're going to be paying a lot of dang money on subscriptions. So I don't now, know. The, the main caveat is that the games have to be downloadable, right? You can't do the whole PS yes. thing, thing. Oh, no. Please, no. Oh, God. That streaming stuff is trash. So, yeah. If they make it downloadable, I think it'll be a cool service. Um, probably not for me since I don't, like I said, buy EA games like that. But I think it's it's pretty cool. Okay. Okay. Nick, you got thoughts on this, brother? Um, the EA service. I mean, not really, man. I mean, yeah, as long as it's downloadable, or whatever, like that, I'm fine with it. As long as they're not totally taking away physical games and stuff, um, and giving you know players and consumers options, I'm all for it. Options are always great. Uh, I mean, you got also a uh, special shout out to the new indie game service that's going to be just like this that's coming oh, out yeah. it's called, it's called about that. yeah it's called jump that's coming out this month um so yeah, a lot of you know publishers and things are going this route and like i said i have no problem with it whatsoever as long as they don't take away you know physical games they're giving players options i'm i'm good with it i and it, and this is going to be 999 right per month something uh, like that right I, yeah I'm, I'm assuming i'm assuming now because xbox game pass is nine Mm -hmm. And to me, Game Pass has jump. way more value than EA than the EA yeah. service will have. So, and that that jump service, the indie game service, that's going to be nine 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 as well. Uh, playing, uh, well, they don't have all the indie games you want, but they're going to build upon it as time goes on. But um, yes, and that's going to be a great service as well. So, yeah, I'm I'm fine with it, man. I'm fine with it. I mean, EA is still trash. I don't trust them, but I, I think it's good. Okay, Demi. Uh. <clears throat> As long as it doesn't like alter with physical, and if I want to like buy it digitally myself instead of just paying the price of for this EA service thing, I'm really not bothered by it. But it, I really just don't want it to mess with digital stuff because if I just want to buy the game separately, because let's be honest, EA really doesn't have anything besides what maybe Mass Effect and Dragon Age for me that I really want to play anyway. So as long as I can just play those two and buy them on my own, I'll be good. Hey, fam, you got Mass Effect yet? No, because I got a feeling. I was, I was, I went on Let's Twitter trade. and I asked. I got, it. I got it over here. Stop, stop what you're saying. Let's trade. I got it over here. I have not even touched the game on PS4. Let me get that uncharted out you right quick. Wait a minute. Yo, wait, how y'all just wait? How y'all just gonna take airwaves? This, this a borrow. <laughs> ain't no trade. Cause bro, they just y'all just gonna take up airwaves doing this. Y'all trading you your cars live on the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Don't trade on you your All right, fine, fine. It's a borrow trade. Okay. I'll let right. you borrow because this. I, honestly, you let me borrow I think, it, I think, that charted. I think it's going to drop on EA Access next month. I just think it's going to be EA game. Access. Like just play the game. Just I don't, don't waste your it. time on EA Access. Just play the game. Just play the game, play. Fame. Oh, you're talking about Fame? You're talking about Fame. Just, yeah, play oh. the game. Mm, I don't want no excuses. Money. You ain't got to spend no, money just, on it. Just borrow it from Nick. Just borrow it from Nick. All right, bet, bet, bet. Why y'all voice going so high, fam? Because, man, I won't... I'm. Man, look, y'all trading Yu-Gi-Oh cards, man. We're going to get this done. <laughs> if I got to be a middleman negotiator. You got that Dark Magician, you my guy? Oh, wait, I wait. I know, what's wrong. Hold on, hold on. I know what's wrong with Demi. It's almost it's bedtime. Let's hurry this up. Oh, snap. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you tripping. You tripping, dog. That's very inconsiderate. My bad. Very inconsiderate. But uh, Crunk, Crunk, your thoughts on this EAXS. Uh, not EAXS, EA uh, Netflix-style service that's possibly coming. Well, y'all know I'm an EA fan. I play a lot of EA games. I playing Madden right now. Um, and I'm not down with the subscription shit. I'm no like it's a slippery slope. We're gonna be playing for EA, Ubisoft. Everybody finna have their own shit, and I'm not about to be paying two hundred, three hundred dollars for no subscription. I'm good. I, I don't. I, I think it's a slippery slope, and and they're paying attention to. Because they even say it in the article, they're paying attention to the movies and music. They're trying to be like Apple Music, Spotify, and Tidal. And they say in the article that they've been planning this for about five years. They've been looking at looking at it. 
and I'm trying to figure out why they want to do this because if they're, they're, they can't be paying attention because title is, is, is doing bad right now. Because everybody want to be number one. Every, nobody wants to be number two. And title is like number three, number four. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I don't, I, I'm not down with it. I'm, and of course, I want choices, but they're, I'm not trying to pay for five and six different uh, subscriptions. I'm just not. I, I don't even. I'm not paying for Apple Music. Like I, I love Apple Music, but I'm not paying for that. I'm not paying for Spotify either. I'm. I'm just. I'm not paying for Title either. I'm not. I buy what I buy, and I'll get how I get music. I'm not gonna pay all these certain different kinds of music streaming places to get what I want because they got exclusive here and exclusive over there. Or like Jay, like Jay Z had an exclusive on Title, and you couldn't get it on Apple Music. You like, uh, or Kanye's album. You couldn't buy Kanye's album for a month because it was. Only then it came to Apple Music later. Exactly. Trash. It was like it took what a month? Like what? No, it was more than a month. It was like what two or three months? Mm-hmm. Like I'm, I'm not down with that. That's trash. They're trying to go in that same little area, and I'm not liking that. I and I had a feeling that with EA Access that it was going to go that route. Mm. They were testing the waters with EA Access. That's a good point. I didn't even think about it like that. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They say it in the article. Like, when they, as soon as I saw Apple and Apple Music and all that other stuff they were saying, when they said music and entertainment, mm-hmm. exactly what I thought of. Yeah, because that's the, like, the fans are really, like, upset over not being able to get all their music in one spot and having to go through all the title here for this one and Apple Music here for this one and yeah, because I Spotify think, for this so one. Drake's last album or Chance was like on Apple for like a week and you can buy it anywhere else or listen to it anywhere else unless you know what I'm saying, trapping out the bandwidth. <laughs> if you just want to straight up, you got to have all three to listen to everything. And I don't know people, I don't know many kids who are trying to pay all their bread to, to, to listen to all those different streaming uh, services. Right. That's why I said this could get dangerous if all these other companies start doing this subscription stuff because people are not going to be wanting to pay that when they only getting like one or two games a year from your company. This is yeah, factual. I don't want to be having to pick and choose which one I buy for the year. Like, I, <laughs> that makes no sense. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and get on up out of here. Two things before Ooh. we go. Number one, make sure you guys go in the description down below. Uh, click on the Patreon. Make sure you guys come and support Tick. We got some great things in the Patreon for you guys, some amazing tiers. And make sure you select the tier that gets you access to the double XP after dark episodes. It goes down. You guys, it, it's you guys will not want to miss the episodes. Okay. Make sure you guys go and check it out. Once again, my condolences to my Right hand, warm man, Mama Cedar. Much respect. Um, my, my condolences. It's a hard thing. I lost my mom two years ago, so I know how it feels to lose a parent. Uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to you, my sister. I can't wait to get you back on the show. We're gonna start with my light skinned brother, Mr. Nico Demas X slash Prince of Indies. State of the game. <laughs> What's going oh. on? The, the disrespect, man. The disrespect is real out here. It's because I'm light skinned. I'm used to it. It's all good. It's all good. But uh, yeah, uh, shout out to Mama Cito. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's not the same without her. You know what I'm saying? I definitely miss her. So, you know, can't wait for her to get back. Uh, also, shout out to Jay Main, you know what I'm saying, for hey. coming through. Most definitely. Appreciate you. Always a pleasure to be in the same podcast as you, sir. And then uh, <laughs> my boy, the young buck himself, Demi, the god. Yes, sir. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Can we can we get a Demi Squad song? Please, no, oh, please, man. please, no, please, no, no please. We can't, we can't, we can't do it because I, I, I will do it next time. Then okay. we're gonna do we're gonna do it next time when is when he actually has a corner when he has okay. he actually got something relevant to say for once. Whoa. Lord. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying he didn't really have much to say tonight. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he ain't you know Nick ain't came out the state of the gay yet, so you don't gotta wait. <laughs> <laughs> he is still in that state of the gay, boy. Yeah. Poor guy. Nick, you ain't in the sunken place, are you, bro? In the what? In the sunken place? No, I'm good, fam. You already know. You already know. <laughs> He's I'm, in I'm a state like, of the gay. I'm like, I naturally attract females when I want to. <laughs> First, he said he's gonna jump ship 
about 20 no, episodes I ago. I never and after you jump ship, you never. end up in a state of the game. I never. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I want to make, make a public. I want to make a public announcement. I, I hate black folks more than PewDiePie. <laughs> All right. So, 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 good night, everybody. Appreciate y'all joining, and we out of here. <laughs> Crown girl, say your piece, ma. My bad. She gone. Got a right, my bad. Oh. Anyways, yo, these Oreo, these Oreo joints with the peanut butter is fire. But anyway, Ugh, hate those. Mm. Man, these joints is fire. Never had, never had them. Nah, but um. Thanks for the guests for coming through. It's, I think it's my first time with uh, J Main, but I do. I follow you. You know, Erica is the, is the homie. Oh, yeah. Shouts out to She Attack. First lady. She Attack <laughs> Boss Lair. Shouts out to Erica Cuts. That's my homie. Um, Shouts out to Demi. Demi's the, you know what I'm saying, the council. Um, Hiya. But yeah, man, thanks for coming through. Uh, Also, like, uh, Fame said, uh, shouts out to Mama Cedar, man. Uh, all love over this way. We praying for you. It's hard losing a parent. Uh, and uh, yeah, man, we get back to this Madden. And uh, oh, thanks for the chat because the chat was going in earlier. Like when we was talking about that PewDiePie stuff, they were. Going oh yeah, in. I seen them. <laughs> uh, so yeah, shouts out to the chat. Shouts out to everybody who's watching, who is going to watch. Um, and yeah, man, I'm out. Oh oh, and also um. For any one of y'all who plays sports games or looks at sports, um, I didn't have a podcast this uh, last week because of my mom's situation. But this week, uh, my podcast will be coming back. Um, and also, you know, two, and also, no two K is uh, coming out this week too. So, uh, podcast, let's get crunk, episode four, I believe. It's, I'm on three or four, one or the other. Um, so, if y'all want to come through, come to my channel and watch that. Yeah, yeah. I hear I hear Demi switch and mama holding the switch in the background. So we better hurry up. <laughs> I ain't talking about that too, no, 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 though. Demi, what's right. happening, brother? Uh, what's going on, everybody? Demi got reviews here. Thank you for being part of the show. It, it takes me back to the writer's block days. Uh-huh. It's good. Right. Right. It's good. Shout out to Jamie. I always see you on my timeline, but I don't <laughs> think we follow each other. Oh, we, we gotta fix that, brother. Yeah, we do, we do, we do. Well, well you're, not Jay 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 you're, not, you're not on Jay's level yet for him to follow you. Get back. Oh, no. Nah, <laughs> 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 he... <laughs> as long as he beats oh, his name, man, we, we can follow King each other. King Neutral YouTube, thank you. You know, we can follow <laughs> each other. <laughs> yeah, you already know. Debbie's my boy, man. We got the homie Jay Main from the press. I didn't start. finish. Oh, oh my damn. bad. Damn. The disrespect. My bad. Let me mute myself. Let me shut up. All right. Uh, right. Uh, make it quick. Come check out the review. The last review I did was on Life is Strange before the storm episode one. And also, speaking on Life is Strange, I'll be having a Talking Strange podcast mm. with me and Sarge 0079 Council, where we talk all things Arcadia Bay recap and just talk about future things that's going to happen. And uh, I'll be having a review up and written on Tick woo, of Black Hole Complete Edition. And, and um, right. yeah. And uh, that's it. Now I'm done. He can't make me, bro. I fight kids. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I fight kids, G. Oh, we know. We know. That daycare is about to explode that day. <laughs> bro, you don't understand, G. I'm ready to fight them teachers at that daycare. Oh, oh yeah. I saw, that. I saw that. I ain't letting me know. <laughs> but fight last kids. but not least, we got Jay Main from the Press Start Podcast. Hashtag hey. bitch game. I mean, switch game. Gonna. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I gotta write a diss track for you, my brother. Coming your way. I got bars for you. I got bars for you. Coming tonight. I'm not waiting. It's coming tonight. Let me get the beat right now. <laughs> but anyway, don't, don't eat me, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, it was a pleasure to be on Double XP tonight. Fame, thanks for having me, Nick. Yes, Crunk girl. Um, you gotta have me on your show one day. I love talking sports. I love playing sports games. So even if I'm just in the comments, I will be there. What day is it again? It's usually on a random day, so oh, okay. I may do it tomorrow since I have time. I oh, okay, so I, I have to keep an eye on your Twitter then, because that's that's dope what you're you know, doing I, with the sports show. On Twitter, though. If you actually want to come on, I, I'll do it tomorrow. All right, well, I got this. I got the press start tomorrow, so it might not we'll work. Tomorrow, but <laughs> we'll, figure we'll figure it Friday, out. Friday, Saturday, something like that. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, it was a great, a great it's show. For Again, thanks on. for having me. Um, it's always a pleasure to be here, Mama Sita. I missed you this time, but. 
again, our condolences and thoughts and prayers out to you and your family. So yeah, um, good night, everybody, and yeah, it was fun. No, oh uh, wait, wait, oh, one more no, thing. Sorry wait, about wait. that. Uh, you can follow me on uh, Twitter at jmain five one eight, and also my YouTube. Uh, same thing, jmain five one eight. So yeah, everybody now I'm going. Everybody already knows you, Jay, man. You don't yeah, ever no, yeah, you're no, famous. No, no, no. no, no. If you're not in the no. Dragon Ball Fighters beta this weekend, I don't want to hear no peasantry Ooh. on Twitter. Ooh, I'm in there. I'm in there. I'm in All right, man. Really. I think uh, about, thanks to uh, about. thanks to Corn Girl for making me have to go and edit this podcast. So if you guys <laughs> if you guys are listening on the uh, Tick Network channel, uh, if you guys want to hear without the beeps. Uh, you guys go to my channel and check it out. You guys listen to iTunes and all that good stuff. Podbean, you're gonna hear a beep on a few words to make you guys. You guys want to hear it unedited? Come to my channel, listen to it unedited. If not, if you guys are listening on iTunes and Podbean. Thank you guys so much. It's much appreciated. And if you guys are watching or listening on the Tick Network channel, thank you once again. This has been episode 34 of the Double XP podcast. Thank you guys for rocking with us. You guys have a great one. And I'm out. I will. Thanks. Peace.